I want to show you a very interesting quadratic equation, so have a look right here. x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Of course, this is interesting because it's easy. We can factor this and we get x plus 1 squared is equal to 0. x is just equal to negative 1. Done. I know. Let's go ahead and make this more challenging. And we are going to do so by putting the 2 inside of a square root. And now we have a quadratic equation with a irrational coefficient. This is not factorable anymore, unfortunately. So we will have to use either completing a square or the quadratic formula. But I know you guys don't like completing a square, so let's do that first. Here we go. CTS for completing the square. This is not tau, this is the t. And this is how we do it. First, make sure we have a 1 in front of the x squared. We do. So keep these two terms on the left hand side. We have x squared plus square root of 2 x and leave a space for the magic number. So we put a 1 to the other side, so this is going to be negative 1. What's the magic number? Well, let me show you. The little formula to get the magic number is this. After we have a 1 right here, look at the b value, take half of that, and then square this. And you see, when you square the square root of 2, it's just 2. And when you square the 2, you get 4. So all in all, we get 1 over 2. Cool. This is going to be added right here. And likewise, we have to do that on the right-hand side as well. And the truth is, this becomes factorable, and it's going to be a perfect square. How? Let me show you the take title method real quick. x times x gives you x squared. Right here, we are going to break it down by putting 1 over square root of 2 and 1 over square root of 2. This times that will give you 1 over 2. And together, you see, this times this is 1 over square root of 2x, and this times that is 1 over square root of 2x. Together, you get 2 over square root of 2. And that's, in fact, square root of 2. Right? 2 over square root of 2, it's actually the same as square root of 2. You can rationalize the denominator, or maybe you can just take my words for it. Anyway, this right here becomes x plus 1 over square root of 2 squared, and on the right hand side, uh, that's going to be a negative 1 over square root of 2. 1 over 2, I mean. It's negative. But it's okay. Let's use complex numbers. Still, go ahead and take the square roots on both sides. Cancel, cancel, and don't forget the plus or minus. So we are getting x. And let's move this to the right hand side. So we get negative 1 over square root of 2. And then the plus or minus. The negative inside of the square root gives us the i. So let's go ahead and put it on the outside. And then when we do square root of 1, it's just 1. And then, of course, square root of 2 right here. Cool. That is what we have. All right. And maybe some of you guys recognize what this number is. I'm not going to tell you. But let's go ahead and try the quadratic formula. So maybe you guys can tell me which one you guys like better. Of course, the quadratic formula says we have x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac or over 2a. In this case, this right here is our b and this is the a and this is the c. Right? So let's go ahead and just plug in. So b is square root of 2 and then we have plus or minus square root of, again, square root of 2 for b, but this time we square that and then minus 4. a and c are both 1, so let's go ahead and put that down. And then divide it by 2 times a, which is 1. Alright, now we see this is just negative square root of 2, and we have the plus or minus. Check this out. This is 2 minus 4, which is going to be negative 2. So negative, and then we have the 2. Over 2. Hmm, same deal. We have the negative inside, so that becomes the i. So this right here is going to be, let me write this down, negative square root of 2. And let me put this down as over 2. And let me bring down the plus or minus. And then here, I'm going to put down the i. And then we have the square root of 2 over 2. And in fact, it really depends how you like to rationalize your square root. If you multiply the top and bottom by square root of 2 right here, then you see this is the same as that. Or if you 
multiply the square root of 2 on the top and on the bottom right here, you can reduce to this. So either way, in fact, let's just go ahead and do it right here and then you'll see that this is equivalent to that. So yeah, that is the answer. Yeah, that is the answer. This answer looks very similar to the square root of i. So here you, there you go. By the way, hopefully it gets all like this. And I'm going to solve another quadratic equation with irrational coefficients next time. All right? So that's it for now. Yeah. Next time. So be sure you subscribe so that way you can see that video. Or go ahead and create your own quadratic equation with irrational coefficients and try to solve it. All right? But anyway, that's it.